What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy. All right, so my long awaited video, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'm gonna look at my five different Batman Lego tumblers. Now this little tiny one, that's the smallest one I've ever seen made. I got these instructions off Rebrickable. They were free, just a really simple little build. But it does, I mean, it works. You use just the most basic little pieces, <laughs> like the meat cleaver there to get some shaping, and it works. This one was a poly bag, a little set, and it's, it's stout, that's for sure. It's a solid little build. My son loves playing with this one. He's <laughs> not even two and a half. And aside from these wings that he pulls off, the little flags, it's a solid little build for him to play with. It also has really good rolling. I mean, the tires really do move. And this doesn't have any tires. You can see it's just sitting there. But, yeah, it's a good little set. This one came, I think it came with a helicopter. I just bought the actual tumbler. I didn't want to deal with buying the full set because I just wanted the tumbler when this came out. Oh, it's been 10 years, probably. I've thought about just getting all the parts in black and just making this all black. If you can see, there's a lot of orange, trans-orange and tan and dark tan. Got some brown and gray. I really have thought about just making this in black. I think that would look really good with that lineup. But that's the way the set came. I wouldn't be able to get that sticker piece unless I bought a full new sticker sheet. But even still, that sticker piece is going to have that gold on it. So, or I don't know if that's gold or tan. Anyway, and then that top piece. So, yeah, aside from the stickers, you got a lot of stuff. I never noticed all the stickers, really. Um, it's a cool little set. This one is actually... <laughs> you can drive it on your Lego streets, unlike this one. It came out last year. This beast, which it's a really, really cool set. And we got Batman down there. I put all the extra pieces and head and grapple and all that stuff in there just so I know where it would be. A little bit dusty. That one is really cool. I think this one's still on sale for like 40 bucks. I imagine this one will sell really well in the aftermarket once this retires. These big tires on the back. Now you hear the head and stuff bobbing around in there. We got some good sculpting, and good shaping and stuff on it too. And then the last one that I bought, I'll line these up so I got more space. I'm gonna set this one right like that. This one, now this is the second generation one. The easiest way to know if you have, or if somebody has the newer one, like this one, or the older one, is the older one has that piece right there. It's like front end slope pieces. They're used a lot on the old Lego planes in the 80s and 90s. Those went right along here. The new design doesn't have it, the old one does easiest fastest way to know which tumbler they have because a lot of the rest of it looks very similar and with all the black it's hard to know it's hard to get lost in all the different shaping so the easiest thing to do is look at the very front and see if it has those right here sticking out on either side this one you've got panels and stuff that pop out you had to make your own seats and sometimes the panels get really finicky on trying to get them back in. That one worked out really well. Yeah, now you can see. So we got two seats. A little control panel there. This one might not go in just as easy as the other one. I know one of them I had a problem with. So I guess it's going to go in. <laughs> Um, other little things, everything's kind of locked in. Man, 
I held off on this one for a long time. I got a great deal on it using Rakatoon. I think I got 15% cash back. And then two gift with purchases. I don't know if I got double VIP on this or not as well. But I also got it when it was $229 along with all those discounts. Now I think it's $250. You may be, I don't know if it may have went higher than that. But it is higher than what it was when it came out. It was higher when I, or it was higher, it's higher now than when I got this back in March or April. But I love these tires. The only other set that I have with these huge tires is my uh, Lego Kloss tractor. The largest uh, Lego tractor ever made. Um, yeah, I don't know many sets. I know a lot of the do or a lot of the large Technic sets use these wheels, but they're great tires. The back of it, this little piece here falls off every single time you mess with it. It's There's a couple things there. They're just so frustrating. you got to hold it at the right angle or it's just going to fall off every time. Sticking your hand under there. You can look under it. You can see the white area. Inside that white area there, that's where the base sits for this thing. Let me grab the base. So the sticker... You can see the base. The base you can rotate. And you want to put it on a base so your tires, specifically the front ones, because there's a little bit more tire. Well, you have two on two on each side on the back. So your tires don't, don't get flat spots. You know, these tires, they're they're hollow. I mean you can hear it. So if you leave it for years on end after you buy it they'll start to get flat spots and you can look try to look up a couple videos on youtube and people complaining about their big technic vehicles getting flat spots on their tires because they didn't build a a platform or something to elevate them up off the ground to just be able to uh, take the pressure off that's one of the reasons they gave you this because the early sets you don't know because Lego never really was building stuff this big 10 years ago. Now it's commonplace to get a set like this, this size. They come out with multiple ones per year now. And live and learn, I guess. Tires aren't super expensive to replace. Sometimes they can be a pain. Not so much. Well, they, these actually are kind of a pain to get off and put back on because of the duels. But, yeah, sometimes it's it's a big hassle just to change out tires because um, you got to take part of the build apart. These are a little bit of a challenge, I believe, too, because you got to take that whole system out because you have nowhere to pull it out in the front. So you're almost taking this whole thing off all the way back to here. So, yeah, elevate your tires, guys. Build platforms, make your own little custom things. It doesn't have to look good. It can look like crap. It doesn't matter. You're not looking at the platform. You're looking at the awesome car on top of the platform. Don't get flat tires. These, I don't know, because these are a little bit more stout, but and there's not as much weight by any means. But yeah, there's your comparison side by side between those two. 229 at the time and 40 bucks difference on or top down comparison so you can see all four of the littler ones <laughs> I still don't compare to that one this wasn't a bad build I, I kind of enjoyed it it was a little bit more technic than I thought it would be and I knew there would be a lot of technic on the inside for structural support but yeah I think the hardest thing was trying to get some of these angles because they're all I mean all of it moves and trying to just get some of those right looking at the box and looking at the instructions to be sure it's right. Like you get some of these weird angles like right there. And you can see, I mean, I've only had this built for less than two months and you can see it is a dust magnet collector. So it'll be one that um, I'll be cleaning off constantly. I don't have the, the 1989 Batmobile. I saw it. I'm like, that's cool, but yeah. Uh, the Tumblr's my Batmobile. That's the one that I really 
I think that's my most interesting one. That's why I've got five of them. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Do you have all four of these official sets? Have you looked up this one on Rebrickable? It's like mini or micro tumbler or something like that. I did a video on it back. It's been several months. Um, the instructions are free. You just download a PDF file, and they've got a parts list if you want to look it up. Otherwise, what do you think? Have you built this in just black? Has anybody ever done that? It's a thought. I'm, I'm still seriously considering. Let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next one.